Good morning, everybody. Um, Sonia, why don't you tell these guys like what brings you here this morning? Uh, I'm here from Plan International. Today I'm going to take over your place, so I'm going to become the CEO of Supercell. <laughs> From today I'm expecting to meet a lot of new people and learn a lot of about the game industry and more specific about the women in game industry and how they feel their place. Well, at Supercell uh, our dream is to create games for as wide audience as possible. And if you, if you think about that, I don't think we can do that unless our teams are as diverse as possible. Hey Sonja, what are you looking at No, me on aika avoimin mieli vielä, että ehkä sillä lailla, että pääsee tapaa just kaikkia, ketä täällä työskentelee ja sitten sellaista, että mitä ne ajattelee näistä just teemoista, mitä me täällä käsitellään. I think the biggest takeaway for, for me was that when I was talking to Sonia and about her observations, I mean she had obviously has played a lot of games, but she had never thought about like the people behind the games. And I and I, I also think that she had some kind of a image of, of what's a typical game developer like, like you know, this manly, kind of a maybe a bit geeky or nerdy type of a guy. And then like it was interesting her talk about like how that view like completely changed during the day. There are a lot of different people behind one game which is something that I wasn't expecting, that there is so many people doing just one game. It's a lot about teamwork and not just doing it by yourself. And uh, the people that work here are really passionate about their work and they're not just like nerdy guys doing <laughs> stuff with computers, but there is also like designers and a lot of different things go into making one game. Do you think that it's important for women to come to this industry or Is it just the same with men or? Yes, for example, Hades um, has um, a lot of female players. So that alone is essential for us to have also female developers to tell us if our gut feelings are correct, if the, the approach with uh, the decisions we make are correct. In the, in the creative industry, it's all about like crafting a story and an, and an experience. And the more diverse creative voices you have, the better you can make the things you are presenting to your audience. Uh, I met Stefan and Camila and we talked about women in this industry and how Camila feels her like place here in the Heyday team and in Supercell and in the industry. If you're interested in the games industry or whatever industry, I think you have a chance to get there. I, I wasn't really set on joining the game industry when I started working in it actually, so I liked games, I had no idea that it was a possibility, but I ended up here. So I think if you, if you have that passion and if you set your goals, you can get there. She's really inspirational to all of the girls who want to be in the game industry. No niin Sonja, nyt on tota noin iltapäivää, oot vähän tämmöni katellut tota, mitä kaikkea täällä Supercellillä tapahtuu, niin itse eli tietysti kiinnostaa kovasti, että miltä sitä meininki sulle, sulle näyttää. No tosi kivalta, että tosi rentoa ja ihan kuule hyviä työntekijöitä oot palkannut tänne, että mulla oli ainakin tosi kivaa ja aika sillä lailla kuitenkin erilaisin, mitä ajattelin. Oletko sä koskaan ennen tätä päivää ajatellut ylipäätään, että Pelin teko voisi olla jonkinlainen ammattivaihtoehto. No en oikeastaan, kun ei sillä ole sitä tietoa, että mitä se tarkoittaa se pelin tekeminen. Että onko se niinku sitä pelkkää koodausta, mutta oikeasti ihan pelin tekeminen on niinku paljon muutakin. Että siinähän, siinähän on se tarina ja kaikki, just mitä puhuttiin siitä musiikista ja siitä, että miten se maailma luo sinne. Et, et, niinku, kyllähän se on tosi kiinnostavaa. Ei voi tietää, jos myös vaikka tulisikin joku pelin tekijä. I just think it, like if we had more women in, in the industry, it would be very good for the industry and it would frankly result in, a, in better games. And why I believe that is that, you know, just imagine if all the books in the world would be just written by males. Uh, you know, how many great books hadn't been written at all? Quite a few. And I think the same applies to games. So to all of the girls who are watching this and maybe are interested in games industry, I would just want to say that um, you should keep on playing and don't let your gender define your opportunities in the games industry. <laughs>